we'll now look at a few more different tests for convergence of series, in particular the rate, ratio, and comparison test. So we'll start with the ratio test. And this says if we have an infinite series with positive terms, we'll let r be the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k plus 1 over a sub k. If this value r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1, then the series will converge. If r is greater than 1, our series will diverge. And if r is equal to 1, the test is inconclusive. So let's do a couple of examples. We want to see if this converges. So the first step is to find r. And r looks at the a sub k plus 1 term. So we have 10 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 factorial. And then we divide by a sub k, which is 10 to the k over k factorial. So we're looking at the limit as k goes to infinity of 10 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 factorial times k factorial over 10 to the k. And as we simplify this, we know that subtra we subtract exponents whenever we divide. So we have k plus 1 minus k, which is just 1. And then as far as the factorials go, well, k factorial is k, k minus 1, k minus 2, all the way down to 2 times 1. If I do k plus 1 factorial, I have k plus 1 times k times k minus 1, all the way down to 2 and 1. So you'll see the only difference between these two terms is this k plus 1. So this actually cancels to just give a k plus 1 on the denominator. And the limit of this as k goes to infinity will be 0. So according to our ratio test, this series converges. Next we'll look at this one, k to the kth power over k factorial. So r, we look at the k plus first term, so k plus 1 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 factorial divided by the kth term, k to the k over k factorial. So we'll look at the limit as k goes to infinity of k plus 1 to the k plus first power over k plus 1 factorial times k factorial over k to the k. So we'll see that the denominator k plus 1 factorial and this k factorial will cancel to a k plus 1 the same way the last example did. However, combined with this other k plus 1 term, we end up getting k plus 1 to the kth power all over k to the kth power. So this is the limit as k goes to infinity of k plus 1 over k to the kth power. We can then simplify this to get the limit as k goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over k to the kth power. And this definition right here is one of the definitions of e, which is greater than 1. So this series diverges.